What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and I'm just wanting to give a little bit of an update because it's been a little while since I made a video. So I have hit max level. I have hit level 85. I'm super pumped about it. Finally, I'll be able to max level all my characters up and be able to really work on the gear grind rather than working on my leveling, which I've been paying a lot of attention to and I feel like this is a huge burden off my shoulders and I am very glad to be here. It feels like in most games where you finally hit the max level and you feel like the fun is finally starting to begin. Usually the leveling up process is not nearly as fun as the in-game process. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm super stoked. All right, so the big thing that has happened on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes since the last time I made my video is there has been a new character come out. All right, so let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, the event is going on right now to get this character. Let's see, did I pass her? Uh, yes, I did. All right, right there. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a grown-up version of Ahsoka Tano, and this is the fulcrum version of it. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with the the anime animation of Star Wars, they have it where I believe it's Star Wars Rebels that all this happens in. But basically, Ahsoka is a big character in that uh, in that cartoon, and uh to explain it best basically she's a very young girl and trying to learn the ways of the jedi and anakin becomes her mentor and really tries to teach her the the right ways of the jedi well a lot of stuff goes on uh, naturally anakin goes to the dark side becomes darth vader spoiler alert guys but uh he goes to the dark side and ahsoka you know is a jedi in the council but she has uh some tendencies to herself that uh much like qui-gon much like anakin you know uh even obi-wan started to do it to where they kind of defy the council at a lot of times and uh ahsoka ended up being blamed for something that she didn't do and uh once once anakin becomes darth vader she's more grown up well uh Whenever he goes to the dark side, she gets framed by uh, with something that she didn't do, and basically the Jedi Council kicks her out of the Jedi Order. And so she's devastated. She can't believe that she's been thrown out of the Jedi Order. And uh, once her name is cleared, uh, yeah, she don't want back in the Jedi Order, and she kind of goes under a code name called Fulcrum. And this is the Fulcrum Ahsoka Tano. And this is the grown-up version of her. If you look, we also have the uh, younger version of her. Uh, let's see, where do we have her at? Uh, t -t 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 I'm passing these characters like crazy every time. Uh, where is she at? I know I got her. I got her somewhere. Uh, you guys are going to be watching this video going, it's right there, right there, and I am not seeing it all. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I haven't leveled her. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's down here, not even leveled up. Uh, no gear equipped to her except for these two, uh, lesser parts here. So this is the young version of herself, and then, as you can see, it goes from this into the fulcrum version. So what all is uh, in, entailed in the Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum version? All right, so this character is extremely strong from what I've seen so far. All right, so basically her first skill here does damage and grants protection up 15% uh, for two turns uh, to herself and then grants uh, protection up 15% to a random ally that doesn't have it so uh just her normal attack is going to throw protection up on herself and somebody else all right then she has another ability here called meditate and this grants her foresight and each non-unique buff excluding taunt 
uh, will be applied to her from her allies. So if your allies have a bunch of different uh, buffs on them, she basically copies all of those buffs and puts them on herself and has tons of buffs all of a sudden, most likely, if your characters do any buffing at all, which every team that I run usually does. So that is crazy there and then she gains six percent turn meter for each buff on her now mind you a lot of this stuff is going to become more powerful as it's leveled up as you can see uh you know this is the default here uh she'll gain additional turn meter as it's leveled up and then even the cooldowns and uh, also retribution for two turns wow okay so that that's even better once you get it powered up all right so the meditate is really, really good, but what really makes that pop, so to say, is this whirlwind ability. This consumes all of the buffs on Ahsoka and deals physical damage to the target enemy. This attack scores an additional hit for each type of buff consumed. So all these buffs that she just copied, they all get eaten up and she hits an additional time for every single one of those buffs. So it basically throws up a column of damage of, uh, on the enemy and it's crazy how hard this thing hits it will one shot people like no tomorrow you wouldn't believe it so yeah this ability here is just way powerful i don't know i don't even know how this made it to the game it'll probably be uh nerfed at some point i don't know but i think it's super powerful uh, yeah, and then she has another ability here called Perseverance, and this is this makes her immune to damage over time effects. And at the end of each turn, Ahsoka dispels all debuffs on her and loses 14% health for each debuff uh, that is dispelled, and then recovers. Uh, I can't. Okay, there we go. It's finally moving. Recovers 1% health for each buff on her. Uh, this health loss can't defeat Ahsoka. So otherwise, she's just immune to all the debuffs. There's so many debuffs running around in Arena right now. You got Vader throwing all the debuffs. You got Maul. You got uh, Sidious. You got all these different, mainly Empire, Sith, that are throwing debuffs on everybody. And this is a little bit of a counter to that. This may be the character that really makes it to where people can't use those teams as efficiently as they did before. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see where Ahsoka ends up uh, landing in the metagame. Uh, something tells me that she's going to be smack dab in the middle of a lot of really good teams. But it's just a guess. I'm not really sure. I'm not at that point to where I can throw her into a team. Uh, we just have to kind of hope that we land some shards and gear for her eventually all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this little episode here mainly it was an update and uh a lot of things have happened on star wars there's tons of updates i didn't go over uh because ahsoka is the big uh big news for me besides me hitting level 85 all right i hope you guys enjoyed it as usual my name is grim if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and i will see you next time